What up? So I'm making another video because uh, yesterday I went to a gun show and came home with this. It is a Sega 223 caliber uh, 16 inch barrel. Um, I don't know, for you guys who don't know anything about Segas, uh, they are uh, actually true Russian AK receivers. They're made at the Izmosh factory where uh, Mikhail Kalishnikov actually created his AK-47s. Um, I bought a Sega about a year ago. It was, it was a 223 as well. It had a 20-inch barrel, not a 16-inch not a barrel. And I converted it. I went ahead and I uh, relocated the trigger group, moved it forward. Uh, a couple 30-round magazines. Uh, put a classable stock. Uh, it had a four-rail Picatinny on the front. It had a red dot scope. Um, and I kind of made it tactical, whatever. Had a good time converting it. And uh, actually, Friday, this past Friday, I sold it to a guy I work with. He wanted it really bad. He offered me good money for it. And I couldn't, uh, couldn't say no. So I went out yesterday and I bought another one. And I paid actually uh, right around 300 bucks for this. Um, I plan on doing a conversion on this one as well, uh, but I don't think I'm going to go tactical with it. I think I'm going to stick with the uh, the standard AK look. Uh, probably put some plum furniture on it. Uh, probably thread the muzzle and put a flash uh, flash hider on it. And uh, I still got my 30 round mags. I didn't sell any of the mags to him. I just gave him the 10 round mag that came with it. He can buy his own fucking mags. And um, surefires. If you guys have Segas, stay away from Pro Mag. Pro Mag is crap. Uh, I got about six Surefire mags in there. Fucking the shit. <laughs> uh, what I liked about this one is it also had the Magwell dimples. My other one didn't have that. It was just the uh, smooth, smooth receiver. Not that I had a lot of mag wobble. The Pro mags wobbled a lot, but the uh, Surefires they were pretty tight. But um, this one has the dimples, and I like it, so it's nice. So that's going to be one of the projects that I do is uh, I'm going to convert this and I'll probably put the videos on uh, YouTube before, after, during. I might start it today, I don't know. Uh, I might start getting the uh, trigger guard off, pulling the trigger group out, and just getting it ready. i got to order the parts for the conversion, so I'll probably be here next week. But um, i got a couple projects in line. I actually uh, just bought a... Uh, 1943 Mazen Nagant just got it in the mail last Wednesday and um, actually I have three Nagants I have a um, M44 which is the carbine and I got that about 10 years ago I paid $70 for it at a gun show some guy told me that they were great pig hunting guns powerful round blah 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 so I bought one 70 bucks I couldn't pass it up and then uh, this past Christmas my girlfriend bought me a 9130 uh, for Christmas and I planned on converting that one into a modern day sniper rifle and uh, when I got it it was just in such pretty condition I mean the wood was immaculate there was no nicks or dents on them I mean, these, these guns are 70 years old or so and uh, it just had all the matching serial numbers the bore was bright the rifling was strong the wood looked great so I can't really fuck with that one I just put it away so I ordered another one hoping that it would come in a little bit shittier and uh, it didn't. Actually, came in really nice as well. Serial numbers matching. The wood was okay. I mean, the wood had a couple scraps, uh, scrapes and scratches on it, but nothing too bad. But I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to start cutting it up and getting into it and doing what I want to do to it. So um, that one, I plan on uh, putting a sporter stock. I'm going to cut the barrel down. I got real long barrels on. I'm going to cut the barrel down a couple inches, thread it, put a uh, muzzle brake on it, and uh, scope it. I'm sending my bolt out to have it redone. Um, have a guy who's going to turn down the uh, the bolt handle. If you guys don't know anything about the Nagant, the bolt handle stick pretty much at a 90 degree off of them. They don't curve down, so I have that redone so I can put the scope on there. And we're going to put a match trigger in it, so hopefully get like a 500, 600 yard uh, accurate shooting rifle out of that one. And then I'm building an, uh, an AR as well. Uh, I got the upper receiver in. Uh, I got to order the lower. I got the lower parts kit. I'm going to go ahead and build one of those from bottom up and do like TMH on Fire did and uh, try to build it for as cheap as I can and uh, see how it turns out. So I figure I can get it for about right around 500 bucks built. So, which is the reason why I got this in 223 as well is because um, 
I'm going to build an AR-223 and, you know, find all different kinds of ammo starts to add up quick. So if I have the ammo for two of the same, two of the same caliber guns, uh, it's just more cost effective for me. So just trying to find the time where I can fit it in and, and get it done. Uh, I got two kids, so time is hard. I work all the time. Uh, hard finding the time so when I get around to it I'll definitely do that so keep uh, keep checking back on the channel for the conversion and uh, hopefully it goes well a buddy of mine actually bought one too he bought the same Sega 16 inch barrel but he bought it in the 762 by 39 he was going for the uh, the original AK round so he wants me to convert his so I'll be doing two conversions probably at the same time and uh, I'll get them both posted up here on YouTube and you guys can check them out and tell me what you think. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. I am not an expert, as for damn sure. But, you know. And actually, to tell you the truth, I haven't even been into uh, ARs or AKs. Um, I grew up up in the mountains and uh, I grew up deer hunting with my dad since I was knee high to a grasshopper. And uh, I've always been into your classic, you know, bolt action rifles and double barrel shotguns and uh, 22s and 410s and whatnot and um, I just recently got into the AKAR black rifle I guess trend um, I started looking at ARs about two years ago just checking them out at gun shows and whatnot and uh, you know the prices back then they were kinda reasonable and then they shot up and skyrocketed and now things are starting to slowly come back down so uh, I guess now's my chance to go ahead and start building one and see uh, see how it comes out. So that's another one of the projects in line. And then uh, I'll probably go over some of my bows and whatnot eventually. Um, I do some pig hunting with those. That one right there in the soft case, actually, it's PSE. Uh, we call it the Pig Slayer. I've got over a hundred pig deaths with that damn that damn bow right there. Uh, down here in Florida, the deer hunting sucks. I usually go back home to go deer hunting, but uh, the deer down here are just tiny. But we got a, a exploding population of pigs, wild hogs. So I mean, I can go out and kill fucking shit. I, mean, I can kill a dozen a day, I guess, if you really wanted to. Um, I don't like cleaning them anymore. I'm tired of cleaning the fucking things. But that that one in there has definitely killed a couple pigs. So I don't know. Maybe someday I'll pull them down. We'll fucking go over my bows, whatever. But for now. Uh, this is going to be probably the next project, and um, eventually I'll go through the safe, start pulling the guns out, showing you what I got. Um, I'm going to do some painting on a uh, bolt-action Remington rifle that I got. Uh, I'm going to paint the stock in a, um, I guess a digital. I'm kind of torn between the Marine Marpat and the uh, Army Digital. I was going to do your, your basic woodland camo, the stencils are kind of hard on those, so I think I'm going to do it in digital. And uh, that's a pretty sweet little gun I got there, it's a uh, 270 is the caliber, and um, out to about 200 yards, I can almost touch the holes bullet after bullet. I mean, uh, it holds a pretty tight group on that gun. Um, these things over here, I hear all kinds of people talk about their AKs and oh, I can hit 2 inch group at 100, 150 yards, blah blah blah. I don't know. You gotta be a pretty good fucking shot. Um, I can hold probably a uh, four-inch group at about a hundred yards with one of these. Uh, my buddy's got an AR-15. I mean, that's a lot tighter than the AK. I'll tell you that. But uh, I only shoot these out to really 50 yards. And at 50 yards, you know, if I'm uh, if I'm holding a two, three, four-inch group, I'm happy. I know I'm I'm hitting my target. You know, it's not. I'm not making them to be super accurate rifles. I'm just making them to uh, have fun with and and go out there and play around with. So for all you guys out there holding two inch groups at 200 yards with these things, my hat's off to you because I can't do it. You go ahead and put one of them high powered rifles in my hand though and uh, I'll show you how to take a deer down from mountaintop to mountaintop. So I don't know. Stay tuned and uh, I'll go ahead and get some more videos posted quick. See y'all.